this morning to to share some uh, distortions and to express, to correct some distortions and to 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 express my condemnation on uh, the story carried by the newspaper called The Sun, uh, written by Mr. M. Pullman, on the issue of the return of the scalp. So ladies and gentlemen of the media, the purpose of this media conference is for me to distance myself from a newspaper report a news item written by Mr. M. Pullman and published by the Sun newspaper on Friday, 11 November 2011. Firstly, the concern article or story create a false impression as if Mr. M. Pullman has conducted an interview with me. The truth and only truth is that Mr. Pullman of the Sun newspaper has never spoken to me or interviewed me on that story. Therefore, all that is, is ascribed to me is false and figment of his imagination, invention, and manipulation. I have not spoken to Mr. Ampleman on the matter. Secondly, it clearly appears beyond any reasonable doubt that Mr. M. Pullman has made up his story on the basis of some points contained in a cabinet submission, which our minister has submitted to cabinet on the issue of the return of the scars, the human remains from Germany, Paid or distributed it to any media institution in this country. Hence, it is shocking and disappointing and one wonders as to how Mr. M. Pullman managed to get hold of that classified cabinet submission, let alone the fact that he twisted and manipulated some of the points raised in that cabinet submission to suit his dirty hidden agenda. It is shocking, unbelievable, and unspeakable that every week or the other, the Sun newspaper publishes leaked cabinet submission. It is really worrisome. Every week, almost after cabinet seats, the Sun newspaper publishes cabinet deliberations and cabinet submissions. It has become a pattern in this country. The observation is very, very clear. Maybe the Sun newspaper has got their people now in the cabinet, or we don't know. But if you can follow the, the trend, is that every after every second week, when cabinet sits, the Sun newspaper publishes all these deliberations. And this one, it appears that it was picked from the same, but in the same pattern. And it was manipulated as if Jan Pullman has spoken to me. Something that undermines journalism ethic, journalism conduct, and it undermines, it does not only undermine the trust between media practitioner, practitioners, it also creates a, a, an environment of mistrust within government structures. Within government structures. It undermines security, it undermines the secrecy, not secret in hiding, there is nothing to hide here, but in any institution, even at the Sun, you wouldn't like that what the management of the Namibian or the Sun newspaper or any institution, what is discussed is displayed in the media. I don't think that that is norms of journalism. Sourcing and uh, sourcing information through dubious way, it's unethical in journalism. It is unacceptable. It is not according to the norms and conduct the standards of journalism practice. It's not. 
you don't source your information through dubious means. And it becomes the trend of your newspaper that every week it is. That's why the, the week leaks, it's the, the owner is being haunted to be dragged into America. Because he has, is violating the, the principles of media practice practicing all over the world. Yes, governments should not conduct themselves in a hidden manner. We are not we are we are not Al Qaeda organization or some mafia organization. We're supposed to share our activities with the media. And there is a there is a Ministry of Information created by the government of the Republic of Namibia where all cabinet deliberations are shared. And if through those deliberations, if you, the media is not satisfied, our doors are open, especially my door of this ministry, is open for any media practitioner to follow up on the issue that we are, we, we are, we are, we are addressing or that is within the issue that we are dealing with. But for somebody to manipulate in a fashion like this one of the, of the Sun newspaper, where Mr. Ian Pullman is saying that Kalenambo said unnecessary additional cost were, were incurred for the traveling cost for Bishop Kameda. It's a lie. And he's, in journalism, he's saying that I said it means that it spoke to me. But I never spoke to him. I never said this. The man is lying. Because he has never. And, or if you are saying journalistically, you are saying that sources close to Kadenambo, then it becomes another matter. But he is saying that I said. And he goes further in his story. He says that according to Kadenambo, the Germans come up with another suggestion. Which means that he spoke to me. And he is saying that according to me, the man is lying. This is not professional journalism. It's buffoonery of the highest order. It's buffoonery of the highest order, a perth of a perverted mind. The man is sick, literally sick. If he is not himself sick, the owners of these newspapers are sick. Are sick. And whoever leaked this document from cabinet is also equally sick. His cabinet source are sick, ill. They deserve to be in a mental hospital. This is not free, this is not freedom of the, of the media. This is anarchy, it's undermining, and the bloody boar is not sensitive to this thing. And I'm using the word bloody boar, because he's a boar. It shows that he has got no sensitivity, he's still operating in a comfort mind. This is issue is a serene issue of the people who were killed, massacred. Young Pullman has got no sensitivity. He has got no sensitivity whatsoever, let alone that he is utilizing an unauthorized information and he is distorting it. Distorting it in this way, he has picked the wrong issue, a sensitive issue, he is playing with it to display how some white people in this country have got no remorse of the killing and the murder that were done in this country. It shows it speaks for itself. That for him is is concerned about money. He's concerned about money. And he must keep his insensitivity to himself. He must keep his kufut minded, colonialist minded, apartheid arrogance to himself. And all those whites in this country, some of them and not all of them, because since I arrived with this car, I met some white people in this country who were saying that, oh, thank you for bringing our ancestors. And, and, and I joined, yes, they said it. I met them. And I would say that maybe for some people it's a, it's a surprise. During the German war, colonial war in this country, there are whites who suffered. During that time, go and do your research. There are shops were boycotted. Go and read in the green book, in the, in the, book, in the, in the book where they wrote and that there are whites or whatever. I got a book. If you do your research, there are, there are whites in this country whose shops were boycotted because they were condemning German colonialism in this country. They were. And even in Germany, people like August Weber of the, of the Socialist Party, 
they are condemned. The, 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 what, what, what the imperialists were doing in this country. So it's not all the Germans were evil. But there are some Germans and white people in this country who are still having a female mentality. And this, it is a demonstration of that. And it's unacceptable. My parents have suffered. My parents have been killed by the Germans. I was born in exile because there was a war of this country. People perished in the Kalahari Desert. They perished. A, a, an extermination order was released in this country against the heroes and numbers. The Maras sent people suffered. Our people were dispossessed of their ownership. And for a young poor man to twist, to, to play with a topic like this one, to make, to add the injuries to insult, on a leaked document, because now it means that he has established a channel with cabinet. Every week, documents are leaked to him. He must keep his arro quiet arrogance to himself. He must keep the words they must put, their, they must keep their arrogance to themselves. They must keep, they must not provoke us too far. They still occupy illegal occupied farms where they cannot produce, none of them can produce a title of deeds. None. How they have got hold of, this, of these farms? None of them can produce these things. In 1904, there was no title in this office here. But they are occupying these farms. We respect them, because under the policy of reconciliation. Our parents, grandparents, animals were dispossessed, working animals were dispossessed. By who? By the white people, white settlers. Although I have taken note and I have recognized, I have acknowledged that there were some who sided and who suffered with black people in this country, and it's a historical recorded fact. But this young white called young Pullman and the lights minded, they must not push it. It was saying that the return of the skull was costly. We don't cost it on monetary terms. We don't. These people, they ended up in Germany, not at their own will, because they were killed by white people. The young Pullman was this world. His young Pullman's grandparents killed my grandparents, and my grandparents ended up in Botswana. And today he's continuing joking with this issue. Still in document from cabinet. The white people in this country, they must tell each other that they should not take the police of reconciliation for granted. They should not. We must be sensitive to one another. We must be sensitive to issues, not to gamble with issues. And to add insult is accredited this, ascribing this to me in a distorted, quite typical arrogance fashion that he spoke to me. Because journalistically, if you write an article like this, you are claiming either you, you got the document from me or you, you interviewed me, which is not the case. It is not. It is not the case. So I'll continue reading my story. Hmm? I would like to use this opportunity to condemn this practice of leakage of cabinet or cabinet submission and classified government information to newspapers in this country. Yes, everywhere all over the world. This is it's, it's, it's condemnable. And now the, 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 the Sun newspapers has made it a habit that now they, every week, second week they display this. Every second week they this. It's arrogance because there are laws on how do you get information. Yeah? There are laws everywhere all over the world. To display cabinet, cabinet submission every day, every week in the sun. As if there is no law in this country. It's Marx, white arrogance, disrespect. You are, making this, you, are, you are making this government as if it doesn't exist. It's an entity. You are making it a love. It undermines stability, it undermines security, it undermines trust, it creates an environment of mistrust, it is undermining even freedom of association, freedom of the press in this country, because there are institutions, there are norms and standards and practices. This is violation, and I, I phoned Mr. Ian Pullman. I told him he must correct this. He has never spoken to me. He was shocked, pretending hypocrisy. He said he didn't know what he is doing. I told him he must correct this. Firstly, he has never spoken to me. Journalistically, I know that he cannot disclose his, his cabinet source, whoever is, is giving him. I, I know that. But journalism has got ethics. Journalism has got norms. Journalism has got standards. You cannot hide behind freedom of, 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 of the media to violate 
the established journalism standards and norms of misquoting people, of twisting information, of stealing documents, and so on, be it from companies or government entities, you are undermining respect, you are undermining trust. So what is the point then of even having media and talking to journalists, if they can access it's theft. What he is doing is a thief. The Sun newspaper is a bunch of thieves. Criminals that need to be dragged to the court. Because the way they are getting information in this country, it's unacceptable. If they didn't know they are criminals, they're just like all these potatoes that are accessing things in the street. They are just like that. And it shows how mean they are. So they must stop their nonsense of ascribing their insensitivity of white arrogance. Because these people, the black people in this country, were, were murdered, raped, humiliated, treated like dogs. And it resulted in the skulls of our people being cut and kept in museums abroad. And when the government is seeking restorative justice, young Pullman has got an audacity to work on a stolen cabinet submission to even insult us further. The arrogance, the white arrogance must stop. They still occupy a farm. He, this person, these people were killed. These are the grandparents of people who are still here whose farms are still occupied by white settlers, yeah? whose cattle were dispossessed, and a mere 1.0 million, whatever, you are monitoring it, which was taken to bring the scars of these people. You, you are condemning it in the newspaper. And you are white for that matter, even if you are black. It shows how some white people, in the, and I'm underlining the word, some white people of the likes of, of young Pullman, they take the policy of reconciliation for granted. And he did a mistake because the person he has targeted to, I am a great descendant of the people who were massacred by his grandparents. He's provoking for me to set the issue at a personal level with him. And you journalists, black and white, you must know when you are scratching too far. You must know this is scratching too far. Young Pullman happened to be a white Kufut, former, former Kufut journalist. He is scratching too far. I happen to be a grandson son of the parents of the scars that he's talking about. He is provoking. He must not abuse the current conducive reconciliation environment and start abusing it to the extent that he's doing it. He must not use freedom of expression and freedom of the media to abuse other people. We will not cost it. We seek restorative. Whether it is going to cost us billions, hundred trillions, restorative justice, we will seek for it through peaceful means. And if we exhaust peaceful means, if the white, some of the white people will be dilly dally, we will vote with our feet. We will grab these farms. We will grab them if they push it in this manner. I am a youth leader. I will mobilize my fellow leader. I am a Herero descendants whose my parents were dispossessed of their land, of their, of their what? My people perished in the Karahari Desert. If the young Pullman they look at this cult as picnic, we will grab these farms. We will grab them. We will move, we will put the constitution aside. A constitution is a paper. If others do not respect it, we will not respect it too. The white people must get this information. And it, it, is, it speaks everywhere, even in farms, in prices, when people are buying them. The arrogance is unspeakable. Mark my words. Give us time. If there were some white people, they don't change, and majority of them are like that. If they don't change their attitudes, we will march with our feet. We will grab this farm, we will occupy them, we will fight for our guru. We will fight. Let the white people take, start taking the policy of reconciliation serious. I'm telling you I'm a youth leader and I know the mood in this country. Blacks are getting further by the day because their government is stopping them, is saying that wait, wait. Yeah? But the white people, they go and see if there is nothing. To, to an extent that they publish nonsensical, barbaric articles of this nature without any sensitivity. And twisting, it's arrogance, it's disrespect. We, if they continue with their spirit, time is about to be now that we also take the very same action which our grandparents took 
we will claim what belongs to others. If it cannot be solved in peaceful means, we will claim. If they don't respect the government, if they have reduced the, this country into a banana republic, we will restore it and give it a dignity that it deserves. This should be a warning. Questions? Mr. Haini, I will take them. I will not speak on an issue which came out. This issue was an issue that was debated at cabinet level, cabinet submission, when there are channels of releasing government information. There are channels. And the channels are there. You can seek the information from the Ministry of Information and Public Safety. All cabinet deliberation are released through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs through the Ministry of Information. And if you pick some of the issues that you want to follow up, you can follow up. Or at this stage, I will not comment. But what I'm saying is that this article is full of innuendos, it's full of distortions, it's full of lies, let alone that they have got access. These are thieves. And typical of somebody who have stolen, they displayed their behavior here. And for us, as a government, as a cabinet, the return of our scar, the restoration of our dignity, it cannot be costed on monetary terms. That one we are not going to compromise, and that one we are not going to be begging from anybody. Whether it's going to cost us billions to restore our dignity, we are not going to beg anybody. If the white people, because they came here and killed us, or because of their white greed, some of them, to, act, to access our land as they occupy it now, and now they are selling it for millions, they must start knocking sense in their heads. It doesn't mean that when we are silent and we are receiving, we are receiving this condition, we are cowards. No, we are counting days. So there are channels, there are government channels, this matter will be released. I condemn that I have taken off both par at parliament and cabinet that I have to protect the sovereignty, the dignity, including government information. I cannot just leak documents or allow people to ascribe leaked documents in a manipulative way to me it's nonsense, it's buffoonery. The Sun newspaper must keep its buffoonery and hallucination to itself. Yellow journalism, it has got nothing to do with me. Madam, thank you. You can get it there from the archive if there are any, but this nonsense belongs to a dustbin. It's buffoonery, it's insensitivity, it's provocative, and it belongs to the whole dustbin. It's intolerance, it's provocative, it undermines peace and democracy in this country. It belongs, it belongs only here. It's a threat. A threat of the highest order of white arrogance.